Hello, my name is Danny DeLuca, and I'm here to tell you about fi I'm here to tell you about Napoleon Bonaparte, the first emperor of France. Okay, France. It wasn't like that before. We're gonna go back track, way back till okay. Think about it. France has got like a king. But there's three estates, and the first estate is like king and buddies, then there's like priest guys, and then there's like everyone else. They're all mad, but they have money, and they're doing their thing, and they got big wigs, and, and shoes with heels, and all the, the whole nine yards, canes. They take over an island called Corsica. Corsica isn't French, it's Corsican. Duh, that's why they call it that. It's closer to Italian. Uh-oh, whoopsie-madoodle. Fucking all these, a little bit afterward, there's a guy born, and his name's Napoleon. What does that name mean? The Lion of Naples. He's not even French. Naples is in Italy. He's Italian. So, anyway, everyone knows about him, but here's what the crazy part is, is that he was picked on a lot when he was young, because everyone's like, you little bitch, and he was like, I'm going to be mad about that. And rise up through the ranks. And his parents are kind of rich, but not badasses. But they're like, go to France and so everyone can make fun of your accent and stuff. He's not stoked on that. He's there. He's doing his thing. Cut to all the fucking fancy wig cane people are like, I'm totally good at being rich. Everyone else can starve. Didn't work. Didn't work. And I'll tell you why. Starving people are hungry. And they get mad easily. Probably because they're hungry. Um, they start killing all the rich people and and all that stuff. King and queen, blah, blah, blah. You know the whole deal. And so, but then the revolutionary people, they're like it's killing each other. It's hectic. It's shit. They don't know what to do. And there's this dude, this dude no one really knows about. And he shows up and he's like, Hold on, I'll protect the revolutionary government because I'm hella good at army stuff, like military strategy, tactics. And all these people are trying to kill him, and he's all, nope, bullets. They're all dead. So he wins, and so he's everyone's all, good job, guy. But they don't care about him. Robespierre is still being all, uh, j'accuse. That's French for, I accuse. And it, uh, everyone's getting their heads chopped off. It's chaos. Finally, that dude that no one cared about, that Corsican little picked on bitch, is like, how about, I know what to do, win. And he just starts defeating all the people, all the Prussians, and the Austrians, and the, the I don't know, probably some really some jerks showed up that were just miscellaneous, just nailed them all to the wall. Um, that's when it gets different. It gets different at that point because he's like, I'm for the revolution, I'm protecting the revolution, but at the same time, I'm going to be in charge of it now. No more Robespierre bullshit. No one liked that. He was supposed to be infallible and be looking out for everyone, but then he got a little carried away, so I'm going to clear shit up. But there'll be not one, me, there'll be three people in power. Chumps. That was a fucking phony bullshit ploy, which was smart of him, though, though. Because, I'll tell you what. The other two were just ineffectual, like, I'm the minister of shoelaces, and the other guy's probably the minister of buttons or something. Doesn't have any power. He might as well have just been him. Then, okay, Napoleon's like, yeah, I'm feeling pretty good about myself. Got a brand new hat, I'm drinking some Cavassier, and some. Canadian fireball. I don't know why, because he wouldn't have done that. This is British bullshit at the time. Probably didn't even exist. I doubt this is aged that long. Is it? Anyway. He then is like, I know your whole revolution thing is all about freedom. And, um, you know, everyone's equal and all that stuff. And I'm here to protect it. Also, wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. I'm the emperor. I'm not even king. I'm above that. That title is bullshit to me. I'm like king times like five. So then it, everyone... But the thing is, no one even gave a shit. Because everyone was sick of everyone 
chopping each other's heads off? Why would you do that? That doesn't seem... If you were trying to, like, have everyone be equal, I guess technically chopping each other's heads off, if you did it enough, would make everyone equal even without a head. But it's... I wouldn't, I wouldn't like it. I wouldn't do it. I'd be like, no. That's why everyone was like, yeah, the short picked on dude with the fucking, with the grandiose hat. Let's go with him now. It worked out for a while. He was doing really good. He like took over like Belgium, Netherlands. There was no Germany at the com country at the time. There's a bunch of different little Germanies. And he's like, I'm just going to take a bunch of them and call it Rhineland. <laughs> Why? Because I can. I'm going to take over a bunch of Italy. That's called Etruria or something. I don't remember what the fuck it's called. Something with an E. It's well, The point was is that he was the one in charge. He was the one being like, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. And whew, didn't always work out as well as it did at first. Because, I mean, he was riding high on the hog. Cut to what? There's a... Huh? There's a rebellion in Haiti, in this island of slaves that make all the fucking, sh they make the sugar cane, they make the rum that we sell everywhere, and it's like making us hell of rich. Oh, I hate when slaves don't like being slaves. That's a direct quote. And so, he's like, fuck, I'm fucked. I gotta do something about it. How am I gonna get the money that I used to have to fight all the people who I... I claim to be defending myself against, but really I'm just like, how about you go down now with a with a jab and a whoop, whoop, whoop. He ate his spinach like Popeye, I bet. Then, so, okay, he's like, hey, TJ, 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 come here. I doubt he said it like that, just because that was English and he didn't speak English, he spoke French. He'd probably say like, TJ, TJ. And TJ was Thomas Jefferson. Here's the thing. I got this uprising in Haiti, but I'm, that was like hella money. I don't have that anymore. You want to buy like twice as much as your country for like on the cheap so I can still fight Britain? You guys don't like Britain. You just rebelled against them. Remember that? I was kind of a part of that. Not really, but I was like nodding along. And they're like, yeah, I'm fucking 15 cents on the fucking square mile. At these prices, we can't afford not to do it. So he got some more money, loses all of the Louisiana territory, but he's like, that shit was just full of fucking beavers and a river and a few yokels in New Orleans over it. Those yokels end up being rad, but he didn't know that. He was like, I'm over in Paris. So he's got his fucking whole rad shit. He's emperor. He, when he gets crowned emperor is one of the tightest parts ever. It's in a painting. It's famous in a painting because he's like, hey, the Pope. France is technically Catholic, even though I don't really care about Catholicism, but you have to ordain my emperorship. And the Pope's like, I guess, or you'll kill me. And he's like, I know, that's the point. It's not really your choice, but we're going to do the ceremony anyway. And then he's like, the Pope's 